Hi there everyone, I am Mayur Gohil. In this video lecture of recurrence relation, I shall be solving a recurrence relation for which we obtain complex and repeated roots. Okay, so let us see the question how to solve for this. Okay, the question says that we have to find a formula for a n and this is the recurrence relation given to us with the initial condition a0 equal to 0, a1 equal to 1, a2 equal to 2 and a3 equal to 3. Slightly more number of initial conditions are there. We have just seen so far one initial condition, two initial conditions, three. But now for this time you have four initial conditions. So let us see how to solve this. Steps are entirely the same. The first step consider the general uh, consider the uh, given recurrence relation over here. Okay, I am now for the first time I am taking all the terms on the other side that is on the left hand side. So I obtain a n plus 2 a n minus 2 plus a n minus 4 equals to 0. Okay, it's alright if you take all of them on the other side, otherwise you can keep them the way they are, it's okay. Now the step 1 will be, uh, you let a n equal to alpha to the power n be the solution. So the given recurrence relation gets converted into this format, a alpha to the power n plus 2 times alpha to the power n minus 2 plus alpha to the power n minus 4 equals to 0. Now you observe that alpha to the power n minus 4 is the smallest power over here. So what happens in that case you divide by the alpha to the power n minus 4 on both the sides and you obtain the following expression that is alpha raised to 4 plus 2 alpha square plus 1 equals to 0. Now this fourth degree equation can be simplified and written as alpha square plus 1 the whole square equals to 0. You might have already solved such kind of equations at your high school level or school level. So I am not entering into the details of it. So on solving this further what you obtain is alpha square plus 1 into alpha square plus 1 equals to 0. And when you further solve this you obtain alpha equals to plus minus i and plus minus i. Now observe here carefully, since the degree of this equation was 4, you obtain 4 roots in front of you. Now if you observe carefully, plus i is repeated 2 times and minus i is repeated 2 times. Okay, so I call alpha 1 equals to i and alpha 2 equals to minus i, where both of the roots are repeated twice. Now in this case, when the roots are repeated two times okay so we have already seen in my previous video lecture how to write the general solution so the general solution will be written in this manner for alpha 1 which is i and it is repeated two times the solution will be a1 plus a2 times n entire bracket multiplied by i to the power n okay plus a3 plus a4 times n into minus of i to the power n okay so that will be the solution and you add up both the solutions to get your general solution okay so now uh, in order to find a1 a2 a3 a4 we will use these four initial conditions along with the general solution so let me rewrite this general solution once more over here and let us go for step 4 for finding the constants ai's okay using initial conditions and the general solution now uh, okay so the first initial condition we had a0 equals to 0 now since the suffix n over here if you see is 0 so and uh, so what you do is you plug up n equal to 0 in this general solution what happens is that you get the following equation that is 0 equals to a1 plus a3 how do you get it is when you write n equal to 0 over here you get a0 okay that a0 is nothing but a0 which is equals to 0 and when you put n equal to 0 over here a2 into 0 will give you 0 i to the power 0 is 1 similarly minus i to the power 0 is also going to be 1 and a4 into 0 you will get 0 so finally you are left out with a1 and a3 added over there equal to 0 okay similarly go for a1 equal to 1 put n equal to 1 in the general solution and a1 equal to 1 you obtain the following equation 
then you put a2 equal to 2 for, and then you will get n equal to 2 and you plug up n equal to 2 and a2 equal to 2 in this equation you obtain uh, your new equation that is this okay i'm just not reading that entirely you can write down it carefully now when you put a3 equal to 3 and n equal to 3 in the general solution you will obtain the following equation okay now in front of you there are four equations having four constants okay so i am now writing all of these four equations which i have bold over here i will write the four equations over here now if you carefully observe it this is nothing but the system of linear equations with four unknowns okay there are four equations and four unknowns so let us solve this using matrices now if you know how to write this in a matrix notation this is how we write it okay so this is the matrix of the coefficients this is the matrix of the unknowns and this is the matrix of the constants okay now if your calculator is advanced and it has a facility to solve the four cross four matrix system it's you are lucky otherwise you need to use gaussian elimination method so over here i will be showing you how to do gaussian elimination method okay now let us perform the row transformation on the coefficient matrix as well as on the constant matrix so perform following row transformation when you perform following row transformations you obtain this change in the matrix now remember that whichever row you are changing do not use that row further in the transformations okay so i have changed the row r2 so i am nowhere using r2 if you observe over here carefully i have changed the r3 i am not using it anywhere further okay otherwise your answer will not come correct you will land up on a wrong answer okay now further on this once you obtain the change you perform r3 changing to half minus of half of r3 you obtain the following matrix on the both the sides the change has been taken care observe here carefully now further you perform r2 changing to r2 minus i r3 and r4 changing to r4 plus 3 i r3 you obtain the following changes then further perform r4 changing to r4 plus r2 okay observe both the sides of the matrices that is on the constant matrix as well as uh, sorry the coefficient matrix and the constant matrix okay so further when you uh, perform r2 changing to r2 divided by minus of 2i and r4 changing to r4 divided by 4i you obtain the following matrix now on the left hand side if you see the matrix of constants is looking little tedious but when you solve it further it gives you zero as the first entry then the second entry is minus of half plus i by 2 third entry is minus 1 and the fourth entry is minus of half minus of i okay uh, so finally when you solve further you obtain r3 uh, you change on r3 and r2 you obtain the following matrix okay there are four entries over here again and then the last row transformation i guess you will have to do is r1 changing to r1 minus r2 okay now when you obtain this matrix you can once more perform r2 changing to r3 it's okay otherwise here also you can leave and when you solve this further you obtain your coefficients a1 a2 a3 a4 you just multiply these matrices you obtain a1 equals to minus of 3 by 2 times i a3 equals to 3 by 2 times i a2 equals to minus of half plus i a4 equals to minus of half minus i substitute these values in the general solution you obtain your final answer for the question that you had seen okay in the beginning go through the entire problem the problem for the first time you must have seen a four cross four matrix for solving on a manual basis so uh, it's it's 
sometimes tricky and pondering at times because you generally don't deal with four cross four matrices but it's okay uh, this was just for your demonstration purpose that yes you can have such kind of problems and uh, so please go through the entire problem if you have any difficulties please revert to me back in the comment section i shall surely reply to your uh, difficulties and try to solve them as soon as possible and uh, till then keep solving good amount of mathematics thank you